Hello everyone, welcome to day 12th of Marsh Lead Code Challenge and today's question is check if a string contains all binary codes of size k. So in this question you are given a binary string and in nature k you need to check whether for every binary code of length k is a substring of the given input string s. If all, all the binary codes are part of this uh, string s then we need to return true otherwise we need to return false so let's understand it with an example we are given a string s as this and k equals to 2 you need to generate all the binary codes of length k that would be 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 and for each of this binary code we need to check whether it is part of the input string or not if it is part of the input string we continue the process till the time we don't exhaust this list otherwise if it is not we abort the process and return false from there and then itself so let's quickly understand the algorithm that i have created for this i'm taking a pen here and this is a naive algorithm uh, that states to generate all the binary codes of length k and check if the generated code is present in s it's part of s or not if s dot contains all the generated codes then we return true from our solution otherwise if we find at any step that this is not part of the generated code is not part of string s we abort the process and return false from there and then itself what are the issues with this approach the primary issue with this approach is to is that we are generating all the binary codes that means we have to generate two rest per k binary codes if k is the given integer and that would be expensive and again we need we will be checking for each of this uh, generated code whether it's part of the string or not that would again be expensive we need to do the traversals every time we are checking the generated code so s dot contains is the time complexity for s dot contains method is order of n where n is the length of s so the total time complexity would become n into 2 raised to power k which is quite high can we do something better than this? Yes. How can we reduce the time complexity and the space complexity uh, for the solution? So let's think in the opposite direction. What about creating all the substrings or size k uh, from this input string s? So let's assume the length of the string is n and we, k is given to us as 2. So we will generate all the possible substrings of size k using this string s so what those would be let's start from the first index 0 0 let's move to the next index we have 0 1 then we have 1 1 then we have 1 0 then we have 0 1 then we have 1 1 then we have one zero so this is the complete list of substrings of size k if we want to remove duplicacy from these substrings how can we achieve it we can put them in a hash set instead of a list so the, th the uh, solution says create a hash set instead of a list for where you are adding all the generated strings of size k into your hash set so therefore the hash set will look something like this it will have 0 0 0 1 1 1 and 1 0 so how this will help us whether we have covered all the cases or not there is a mathematical ma mathematical mathematical formula which we can use the total number of binary codes of length k would be 2 raised to power k and we can compare the size of this hash set 
with this value if there is a discrepancy or a mismatch between the size and expected size and the size of the hash set we will return false otherwise if there is an exact match then we will return true so pretty simple way of thinking where we are generating all the possible uh, substrings of length k putting them in a hash map then comparing the expected size what would have been if there would have been an exact match what what that would be 2 raised to the power k what is the current size current size of the hash set would be given by set dot size if it matches then we return true from a solution otherwise we return false i hope this solution is clear to you and let's talk about the complexities here are we able to reduce the complexities the answer is yes how we are traversing the string s only once so the time complexity would be order of n minus k and uh, what we are, we are also generating uh, substrings of length k so we will have to multiply it with k so the complexity would be order of n minus k into order of k and what will the space complexity the worst case space complexity what this solution would be order of 2 raised to power k because we are generating there could be a case where there is an exact match and we have to we will have to store all of these in our hash set so space is slightly compromised but the time complexity is has reduced dr drastically so let's quickly move on to the coding part first of all we can have a safety check if it happens that the length of the input string is less than k k is greater than the length of the input string that means we'll have to return false upfront because there will be no way you can achieve it otherwise let's move on with the processing we'll have a hash set of size of type string new hash set and let's start generating the substrings of size k i equals to 0 i is less than equal to s dot length minus k i plus plus and let's add the generated string into our hash set s dot substring i comma i plus k and once we have all of them added in the set let's compare the size the expected size and the current size so this is the current size what is expected size that would be math dot pow 2 comma k and i think we are good here let's just try and run the code return true and let me just submit it accepted the time complexity would be order of n minus k into k because you are generating all the substrings and then the space complexity is order of 2 raised to the power k you can improvise this complexity further by instead of using the substring method uh, you can uh, use a two pointer approach to build those strings each time you remove one character from the start add one character to the end and this complexity can again be reduced to order of n minus k uh, thanks for watching the video hope you enjoyed it and please don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel